The US dollar is the standard currency used to pay for oil globally, prompted by an agreement between the US and Saudi Arabia in 1945. This agreement led to other oil exporting countries accepting the dollar as payment for oil, and the relationship between the dollar and oil began. Some countries exported so much oil and accumulated such large amounts of US dollars that they couldn't spend them all. If the country accepting US dollars as payment can't spend them all, they are effectually removed from circulation. The dollars these countries could not spend came to be known as petrodollars. The petrodollar came into existence following the elimination of the gold standard. After World War II, the United States held most of the world's supply of gold. It agreed to redeem any US dollar for its value in gold if the other countries pegged their currencies to the dollar. Other countries signed on to this deal at the 1944 Bretton Woods Conference. It established the US dollar as the world's reserve currency. The 1945 US-Saudi Arabia Agreement, on February 14, 1945, President Franklin Roosevelt initiated the alliance with Saudi Arabia. He met with Saudi King Abdulaziz. The United States built an airfield at Dharan in return for military and business training. This alliance was so critical that it survived subsequent years of differences of opinion over the Arab-Israeli conflict. The 1971 U.S. detached from gold standard. In 1971, U.S. stagflation prompted runs on the dollar. Many countries asked to redeem their U.S. dollars for gold to protect the remaining U.S. gold reserves. President Richard Nixon removed the dollar from the gold standard, as a result, the dollar's value plummeted, which helped the U.S. economy as its export values also decreased, making them more competitive. A falling dollar hurt oil exporting countries because contracts were priced in U.S. dollars. Their oil revenues dropped along with the dollar. The cost of imports, denominated in other currencies, increased, the 1973 deal between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia. In 1973, the petrodollar system was created through a deal between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia. The countries agreed to price and trade oil in U.S. dollars. With oil standardized in terms of dollars, any country that purchased oil from Saudi Arabia would have to use dollars. This led many other oil-producing countries to also standardize oil prices in U.S. dollars, and the petrodollar system was born. In 1979, the United States and Saudi Arabia negotiated the United States-Saudi Arabian Joint Commission on Economic Cooperation. They agreed to use U.S. dollars for oil contracts. The U.S. dollars would be recycled back to America through contracts with U.S. companies. These companies improved Saudi infrastructure through technology transfer. Because the petrodollar is denominated in U.S. dollars, the system means that oil-producing countries end up with surpluses of U.S. currency that need to be recycled back into the economy. Petrodollar recycling can involve countries conducting the following activities, channeling these dollars back into their own domestic economies, lending them to other countries, investing them in the U.S. economy, buying assets and securities like treasury bills. The petrodollar system gave the U.S. dollar elevated status as the dominant currency in the global economy. This has many benefits for the U.S., including consistent trade deficits and source of liquidity, inflow of foreign capital through petrodollar recycling, ability to finance deficit with low interest rate assets, decisive influence over global economic markets. The same elevated status for the US dollar is also responsible for the downsides of petro currency. The petro system results in a catch-22 for the US dollar that could cause it to lose its status. The US needs to run account deficits to maintain liquidity in a continuously expanding global economy. Stopping these deficits will slow down the global economy. Continuing the deficits may cause other countries to downgrade the value of the dollar. The recent Russia-Ukraine conflict has highlighted that countries can be totally cut off from the global financial system, and the dollar reserves they have painstakingly built could become worthless overnight. This is likely to accelerate the move away from the dollar and toward alternative assets and payment systems. Besides the imbalances in the dollar-based global financial system that have been noted for some time, we now see the impact of the weaponization of the dollar on a global economy and world power. While this is an ongoing threat, and countries over the last two decades have been seeking ways to diversify their financial systems, the speed and severity of the sanctions imposed on the Russian central bank and the closure of SWIFT to the country has emphasized how necessary access to the dollar is. Since the Russian-Ukrainian war, there has been renewed interest in the petrodollar alternative. This is a system where oil-producing countries would sell their oil in a currency other than the dollar. Some have proposed using the Russian ruble, the Chinese yuan, or even gold. 
the petrodollar alternative could help to reduce American economic influence around the world. There are several trends to consider when debating the future of the petrodollar. First, continuing to run deficits has led to a loss in purchase power for the US dollar, leading some nations to begin losing faith in the system. Second, concerns about global warming and technology advancements towards sustainable energy are reducing demand for oil and the need for the petrodollar system. Finally, strained international relations with major oil producers like Iran, Russia and China are leading these countries to reconsider their dependence on the US dollar. Many experts do believe the world will shift away from the petrodollar system and toward more digital currencies, which is why cryptocurrencies are so popular right now. While it is unlikely to collapse overnight, as this would cause a major global economic recession, other currencies may slowly replace it, leaving the question, what is the petrodollar? In the history books along with the gold standard. Even though the petrodollar has been the world's reserve currency for over four decades, it may not remain so forever. If the petrodollar does lose its status as the world's reserve currency, what will take its place? Some possible contenders may be the Chinese yuan, the Russian ruble, gold, and even digital currencies. In the meantime, let us know your thoughts on the future of the petrodollar system in the comments below. Stay tuned for more interesting videos.